ألم يأتكم نبأ الذين كفروا من قبل فذاقوا وبال أمرهم ولهم عذاب أليم ذلك بأنه كانت تأتيهم رسلهم بالبينات فقالوا أبشر يهدوننا فكفروا وتولوا واستغنى الله والله غني حميد Below the extremely reduced volume, volume of the central nervous system where the program is registered. Through such an example, we have an idea of the capability of around the head, a totally valid comparison. The evolution of the heavens and the notion of a settled place for the sun are also mentioned. They are in agreement with well-established modern ideas. But the turning point came when someone gave me a book um, called The Bible Science and the Quran by Maurice Bukai. And that, that was amazing. Um, it lists so many things in the Quran that were known 1400 years ago, hundreds of years before they were actually discovered. For 26 years, Madeleine Kahn lived her life as a Catholic French Canadian. She chose to take a life-changing step. Despite the white Christmases and warm Easters she enjoyed, Madeleine's heart redirected her to what she feels is true happiness. She chose Islam. Who discovered it was Dr. Maurice Bukhai, not a Muslim. He later became a Muslim, alhamdulillah. But when he was called into Cairo, Egypt, to examine the corpse of a mummy that came from one of those big pyramids, he was amazed. He said, this pharaoh drowned. He died of asphyxiation. His lungs didn't work anymore. This man, I believe, drowned. Then he said, this could be the pharaoh of Moses' time. And he was so excited. But guess what? The people around him went, so, okay, that's cool. And he's going, that guy, yeah, because, you know, he's a Christian. And he's telling these guys, you know, you're obviously Muslims, you don't know. They're saying, no, we're Muslim and we do know. It's in the Quran. He said, huh? Because in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about when Pharaoh was drowning. Now, this is the same Pharaoh that received so many proofs, so many signs, and he covered them up afterwards. He knew and then he lied, which made him what? A what? He covered the truth. He's a what? Ah. Oh. And when he died, he was drowning. Yes or no? The Allah drowned him in the Red Sea. His last words was, I believe in the Lord of Moses. Did that help him? Take note, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. You're claiming to believe in Allah at the time of death is not going to be any benefit if you didn't live it in your life. That's a reminder to all of us. This is serious. He died. Some Christians, some Jews today, doubt that. I've read some scholarly works from people who deal with the manuscripts from the Old Testament. It was in recent, I believe it was Newsweek, had an article about the Bible in it, and it stated in there from some of their top scholars, they don't really believe the story of Moses. Not really. He's not really, you know, like a man can open up the sea and they could go through it and Pharaoh drowned. They don't believe it. But Allah says about Pharaoh, after he drowns, look what Allah says. And we're going to preserve you in your body as a sign for the people. Did he say that or not? And guess what? After they discovered this, did they put the mummy on display and take him all over the world or not? And guess what? I saw him. I saw him right in my country. They had him in Dallas, Texas. They had him up in Chicago, and they put it on him. You can't get too close. You know, they got the thing, like a glass thing. You can go up there and look at him. He got his mouth open like this. I wonder what he was saying. Or maybe I don't have to wonder. Huh? The same thing that an atheist will say if he fell out of an airplane. All of his life he claims, I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in nothing. That's it. But if he fell out of an airplane, what would he say? Oh, God! He's not going to say, oh, nothing! Huh? Oops. The 
Egyptian ruler known as Pharaoh and his court were highly devoted to their polytheistic system and idolatrous beliefs. Indeed, according to their perverted beliefs, Pharaoh was actually a deity himself. At this time, God sent Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, as his messenger to the people of Egypt. Pharaoh, however, responded with slanders and threats to Prophet Moses' calls for him to believe in God. This arrogant attitude lasted until he was faced with God's punishment. He was faced with the threat of death through drowning. The position of Pharaoh, who turned to faith at just that moment, is described in these terms and verses. We brought the tribe of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh and his troops pursued them out of tyranny and enmity. Then, when he was on the point of drowning, he said, I believe that there is no deity but him in whom the tribe of Israel believes. I am one of the Muslims. However, this last-minute conversion was not accepted. What now? When previously you rebelled and were one of the corruptors, today we will preserve your body so you can be a sign for people who come after you. Surely many people are heedless of our signs. The information that Pharaoh's corpse would serve as a sign for later generations may be regarded as an indication that his body would not decay. On display in the royal mummy's chamber of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo is the body of Pharaoh, just as it was revealed 14 centuries ago.